All right, it's time to get Eli into his chair. First, you want to make sure that this little piece in the front is down. So in order to do that, you got to push in the little ball, and then the whole thing will slide down, and that makes it a lot easier to get him into the chair. It's a good idea to bring the chair to the corner of his bed, and then when you come to lift him, you can get your right arm under his legs and hips, your left arm under his shoulder and his head, and then you're going to pick him up straight up and carry him over and gently place him down. You're going to want to stand in front of him and try to reposition his hips, get him in the chair all the way, nice and straight, pull his shirt down, and make sure he looks pretty good. You're going to want to bend his legs, get him in the stirrups, Bring the little piece up here in the middle to help protect him so that he doesn't fall out of his chair. You're going to pull his arms up, pull them on the outside of these bars. That's just kind of a temporary thing to help his arms and muscles relax. You're going to want to pull the two straps down here for a seat belt. They're the ones with the two buckle portions, the metal buckle and the big padding on them. You're going to snap that in and pull this a little tight to make sure it fits nice and snug. Then you're going to want to come around the back. You got this five point harness, four point harness that goes uh, around the back. It's going to come underneath the headrest right there, come across his chest, and you're going to find the other piece down here. It's the one with the plastic clips, and those are going to snap in together. Then you're going to take the other bottom on the left and find the other strap and that's going to snap in on the other bottom clip then you're going to want to go around the back over a shoulder and under the headrest and find the last piece in the back and that piece is going to also buckle in then you're going to want to come back to the front and just make sure it looks nice and tight and snug it's not choking him under him, his neck the strap and here is down the middle of his chest and if you need to make any adjustments Here's the piece right here. You can pull on that to tighten it and that'll lower it down a little bit on this end. Then you're going to want to pull his arms and kind of crisscross them at the bottom and get his hands situated. And he is ready to be rolled out to the garage for the school bus. So we will roll him out there. You need to make sure his backpack is on. You're going to have all his supplies ready for the bus. His backpack will be on. We typically leave this door cracked open so that we can hear the school bus. She's clipping his backpack in. We usually leave him right here in the laundry room until the bus gets here. In uh, order to open the door, let's open the door and roll him down. In order to get down the ramp, you're going to want to get him up to the edge. You're going to do a pop a wee wee with him. And then go down. And be careful with the front wheels because if the front wheels are crooked, you can flip the whole chair. And then you are good to go. And wheel him out to the school bus.